Well, John, it's obviously disheartening any time you hear about a case of child neglect, so I did some digging on just how much it affects our area and Missouri as a whole. I took a look at the Missouri State Department of Social Services Children's Division report from last year. What I found was that there was 267 cases that went through this courtroom in Adair County. There was over 68,000 reported cases across the state. You've seen the mugshots, read the stories. A lot of the times, what isn't included in the headlines is the story behind the charges, the family's story. Sometimes you find parents who, uh, unfortunately, because of their addiction, choose the drug over the child. The, the drugs create neurological changes for these people. The process starts when either law enforcement is called in or a friend or family member reports that potential neglect has occurred in a home. When that happens, the juvenile office files a petition with the juvenile court and requests that emergency protective custody be taken of the child. Within three business days of that child coming into the Missouri Department of Children's Division's custody, um, we have a protective custody hearing um, before the circuit court, um, and at which time um, the court determines whether or not there is probable cause to believe um, there was actual abuse or neglect um, present in the home um, to necessitate the need for an emergency removal. Timeliness is crucial in cases involving children, and through a joint effort, the Second Judicial Circuit received the Supreme Court Permanency Award in recognition of their excellence in service to children and families by achieving standards for timely hearings in child abuse and neglect cases. We want to make sure that these kids are getting all the services that they need and the families are receiving all the resources that they need to, to get reunification achieved as quickly as possible, whenever possible. But sometimes the best situation for a child and a family is to take them out of a dangerous situation. Using Adair County in this courtroom as an example, there were 81 reported cases where children were taken out of homes last year. Of those 81 cases, 46 of those children were placed with family members, 14 of them lived in foster homes, and 17 were put into group homes. The average age of those children was nine years old, but unfortunately, sometimes they're much younger than that. We have removed children um, who are newborns, um, literally right after delivery. Um, in, in cases of um, where a child um, is tested positive for methamphetamines upon being delivered, um, obviously that child is removed immediately um, from that mother or from that um, home. Bill McIntosh has been the guardian ad litem for the Second Judicial Circuit for the last 18 years. His role is to make a recommendation to the court that is in the best interest of the child, while also communicating with the child to express their desires. My priority when I see a child come to me who is, is bruised or injured emotionally or physically, or is in a severely at-risk situation at home, uh, number one, I want to make recommendations that are going to keep that child safe. And number two, I want to keep in my mind that, that uh, there is always hope, and there is always hope for reunification specifically. I'll have part two of this series tomorrow night. I'll take a look at what kind of measures are taken to prevent families from coming into a courtroom like this one, as well as how families come back together after being taken apart. Reporting in Kirksville, Eddie Katum, KTVO News.